Hey, welcome to our lavender watch party. That's right, I said lavender. It's a beautiful flower, but it's also a culinary treat. We have five recipes in five minutes to show you everything from a lavender lemonade and lavender cookies to lavender carrots. Make sure you watch until the end so that you get your coupon code to get discounts. And these are delicious and you're going to love them. Lavender carrots. Peel and slice six carrots. I like to slice them on the diagonal. Now you'll boil them for 10 minutes. And then after your carrots are cooked, you'll add two tablespoons of butter and salt and pepper. Now sprinkle with lavender buds for an absolutely delicious and understated flavor of lavender in your carrots. If you've only thought of lavender as a scent, boy oh boy, let me tell you, that little understatement of lavender is fantastic. You will enjoy the heck out of this. Lemon Lavender Bars. Uh, two cups of white sugar and two tablespoons of lavender buds. This makes a lavender sugar. So you're going to add a quarter cup of lavender sugar, half a cup of softened butter, and a quarter cup of softened virgin coconut oil. Add two cups of all-purpose flour, and you will beat it together. Now you'll press all of that mixture into a cazuela, pretty easy stuff, and you'll bake it at 350 for 15 minutes. Beat four eggs, add a quarter cup of flour, and you'll stir in a half a cup of lemon juice, and you'll add the remaining lavender sugar. Now you'll pour that over your baked crust, and then you will bake that at 350 for about 20 minutes or until the whole mixture is set. And you'll top it with lavender buds. And you'll see how nicely this comes out. It's beautifully browned. Those lavender buds go on top of it. Serve it with a cup of tea. I'm a coffee guy myself. However you do it, it's absolutely amazing. <laughs> Look at that. Fabulous. Lavender infused lemonade on a hot summer day. One and a half cups of water, one and a half cups of granulated sugar. Bring it to a boil, two tablespoons of lavender buds. Eight lemons juiced. Mix it all together. Now you want to strain it to get the lavender buds out, but man alive, that little bit of lavender in that lemonade is just phenomenal. You love this on a hot summer day. Believe you me. Lavender shortbread cookies. Beat together one and a half cups of melted butter with two thirds of a cup of granulated sugar and a quarter cup of confectioner sugar. With a mortar and a pestle, grind two tablespoons of lavender buds and one tablespoon of dried mint. Beat into the butter mixture In a separate bowl, mix together two and a half cups of all-purpose flour and a half a cup of cornstarch. Beat into the butter mixture, divide the dough in half, and wrap in saran. Refrigerate for one hour, roll the dough to one half inch thickness, and cut into one inch rounds, and bake at 325 18 to 20 minutes. Man, oh man, these are incredible. You will love them. You will feed them to your whole family and they will love them too. There's nothing like watermelon in the summer, but let's raise the bar. 
Chop a quarter of a watermelon into pieces. And quarter four strawberries and core them. Sprinkle with two tablespoons of lavender buds and two tablespoons of chopped mint leaves. Mix well and combine. Man, oh man. The flavors here are truly remarkable because lavender goes with these fruits and makes them exquisite. Enjoy. Thanks so much for watching. We hope that you guys enjoyed yourselves, that you learned a little bit, that you're hungry. Thanks again, and we'll see you soon at icyspain.com.